Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about my placings from the Briarfest 2020 Open Show, which for the first time was an online photo show, which meant I was actually able to enter the Briarfest Open Show this year. I have done the Briarfest Youth Show once, and that was actually my very first time entering a live model horse show. You can even see a few photos of that in my Briarfest 2011 experience video, but I have never shown in the Briarfest Open Show before. I would love to enter the in-person Briarfest Open Show someday, but the issue is that I live all the way in California, and traveling with nice show models to and from Kentucky from California is not the easiest thing in the world. Plus, I usually have that space taken up by sale models and model horse purchases from Briarfest, which means there's usually not a lot of room left for show models. Additionally, I don't have the time to show at Briarfest in person, the Briarfest Open Show takes pretty much all day on Friday, and I just can't take that entire Friday for only the Open Show when there is so much other stuff going on during Briarfest weekend. That being said, I do plan to do the Open Show someday, but I just have no idea when that'll be. Since the Open Show this year became a photo show, it was super popular, very massive, and very competitive. There were 319 entrants and over 27,000 photo entries, and about 2,500 ribbons and prizes given out. Those are some super insane numbers. For myself, I ended up entering over 75 models or photos between the halter class, fun classes, and collector class. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for entering that many models because I was worried at first that I was not going to have a lot of time and energy to take my show models out of the containers they're stored in and take pictures of them for the show. But alas, I did! And now I have a ton of photos of my show models I'll be able to start uploading onto Instagram. Without further ado, let's actually get into my open show placings, which considering the size of the show, I think I did really well. We'll start off with the regular run division. In one of the pony classes, my black hand model, who I call King's Fireflies, got an 8th place as a POA. I really love this little model, so it's great to see her place at such a big show. In other light gated, my Sato, who I call Saturn's Demise, got a 7th place. I thought this was really cool because he is actually a model I used to live show once or twice back in like 2012. And I decided to let him have another shot at the show ring after being basically retired for a while. Now those are my only two placings in the regular run division, so we'll move on now to the special run division, which I actually got two placings in as well, which is interesting because it was actually the division I entered the most models in. In special run drafters, my Versailles got a sixth place as a Percheron, her show name is Night in Paris, and she is actually a very good show model for me. She's gotten some really good placings in the past, and it's amazing that she came through again in such large classes and got a 6th place. Super awesome! Then there is my biggest placing of the show, which is my Geronimo as a Paint Stallion. His show name is Primitive Dragon Eyes, and he got a 1st place! And then he went on to get a reserve champ in the stock division. That is so amazing. And it's funny because out of all my models, he was definitely not one of the ones that I would have expected to make it to the championships or play super high. But he did. That is super awesome and I should be getting a Briar model as a prize. I have no idea which model I'll be receiving. I think they said it was going to be a regular run traditional model. I'm really excited to see which model I get, and I'll of course do an unboxing on that model whenever it arrives. Let's move on now to the collectability division, which I have one placing in. This is actually one of my more recent models, Du Wamish from the Seattle Soray. He placed ninth in the limited run section for breed as a paint horse. His show name is Chinook River King, and honestly after naming him I now don't want to part with him. He's a model I was considering selling to help pay for something, but now I don't know if I'll be able to sell him because I gave him a name and he's really growing on me more and more. So he might be staying for a while. He also completes my Dundee Conga, which is another reason to keep him for now at least. The next division is Custom Halter, and believe it or not, this was the division I got the most placings in. Even though I'm not really a custom collector and shower and I didn't even show that many models in this division, I mainly show and collect OF models, 
but I entered some custom models and some of them did really well. For one of the fantasy classes in custom, it was fortunately split. It was split into winged horses and non-winged horses. For winged horses and pegasi, my macaw pegasus custom got a 10th place. His name is Rainbow of the Rainforest. He was originally made for the Briarfest 2016 diorama contest and is based after a green winged macaw. I think this little guy is so neat and I really want to make more customs like him in the future. I'm very, very happy that he got a placing. Next is my beloved Foundation Stallion Custom, who is customized by Liz Venus. He got a ninth in Fantasy as a non-winged horse. This is also super awesome and actually my very first time showing this model. I just love him and it is so cool that he placed at his first show, even though he is a very creepy zombie horse. My next placings are in another unrealistic custom class. Surprise, surprise, I like making fantasy and unrealistic customs. This is the unrealistic color slash decorator class, and my custom Halloween pony, Halloween Spook, got a second place. That is so crazy, oh my goodness. I was so happy to see her place so high. She's a custom I did quite a long time ago now. I believe I did her in 2015. And she does hold her own pretty well in shows whenever I do show her sometimes. So I really can't believe that my customs were doing so well and it really helps motivate me to hopefully get back into doing more customs soon. In that same class, I got another placing, but with my Nemo Pamo model for this year. Horse Droid 900 got a 10th place. He is my most recent completed custom and this is his very first show. So it is super cool to see him place. I do actually have an entire video more about him and about creating him, which I will put in the video cards for you to check out if you haven't seen that before. Now we are going back to OF models for another placing in the foal division. My Chico foal, whose name is Sandez Tapferen, got ninth place in special run Spanish foals. This little guy is so cute and I think such a nice show model. It is so great seeing him place. I think he has gotten some decent placings before in the past, so it's just very cool that he placed in such a competitive show. And then now we're actually on to my final placing, which was in one of the fun classes, the fun class, fun costume class. My Frisian Stallion, Master of Midnight, and his human friend got third place. This is super awesome, and fun fact, he was actually the last model I entered in the photo show because I couldn't find him. I wasn't sure which box I had left him in, and then kind of last minute found him and snapped a photo of him. His costume and the writer's costume I both made quite a while ago now. I think I made it at least a few years ago, I'm not even quite entirely sure, maybe around 2015. But I really love this set, and I actually leave the costume on the model all the time because he looks so cool in it. I got 12 placings in total for 11 horses, and considering the size and competitiveness of this show, I think that's super awesome. I look forward to receiving the ribbons in the mail and finding out which model I'll receive for a section reserve champ. Again, I will end up having a separate unboxing video about that. Question of the video. Did you enter the Briarfest 2020 open show or attend the Briarfest Youth Clinic? If you did, let me know how it went. And if you didn't attend either, let me know which of the models that placed in this video is your favorite. Thank you for watching. If you want to know more about my Briarfest 2020 virtual experience, check out my other video where I talk all about it. Have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!